Hey guys, how's it going? Judy Rhino here. So I'm here to talk about what everyone's talking about because I've been watching what everyone's been watching on YouTube. It's Shane Dawson's Jake Paul documentary. And so far, holy shit, it has been amazing. I mean, the man is a genius and he is taking YouTube to the next level. He is the undisputed king or queen, he'd probably prefer queen, of YouTube. And it's just amazing. The work he is doing is phenomenal. In the last episode of the documentary, episode two, he had me and the, the rest of the world questioning, uh, am I a sociopath? You know, especially as he was using YouTubers as an example. And I was like, shit, I'm a sociopath. And then it went on and I was like, okay, I'm not a sociopath. I'm a narcissist. <laughs> narcissist definition, if you literally bang it in Google, says a person who has an excessive interest in or admiration of themselves. Narcissists who think that the world revolves around them. So, I'm not, okay, I don't think I am. I mean, it's difficult. <laughs> I don't think I'm a narcissist. I mean, just this documentary is just maybe I'm like a sociopathic, narcissistic, just arse. I'm not sure, right? But then at the same time, I'm like, wait, I'm a bit empathetic. I don't know anymore. I'm on it. Subscribe, do you know what I mean? But it does have its flaws. And I must admit, it took. One man, a man that I never thought I'd agree with, to make me realise that there are perhaps some flaws and perhaps some ways that this could be improved. And that man, and I can't believe I'm saying this, is Logan Paul. <laughs> because naturally it's about him and his brother, although I, I do think that further down the line this is going to completely switch and be about Logan Paul. I think it's going to be like how Logan Paul's persona and the way he is has shaped Jake Paul. I think that's the way that they're going, but I might be wrong. But yeah, Logan Paul was naturally going to do a response to the documentary so far, and he did. And I have to say... He had some really good points. There was a guy there with him. I mean, I don't watch Logan Paul, so I don't know who the fuck the guy was. He seemed very, very pointless. But Logan came up with, like I say, lots of really valid points. Some poor comedy um, centered around impregnating children. Your young and impregnable audience. No, that's wrong. <laughs> Which, <laughs> hmm, uh, isn't great. But then some of the stuff was actually genuinely laugh out loud. And the thing was, he, he, he from the offset, he was like, look, Sh Shane is a friend of mine. We DM. Friends with Shane. I'm cordial with him. We DM today. It was romantic and shit. So it's not like he's just doing a video like, ah, fuck Shane Dawson, you know. So he's going about it the right way. And to be fair, everything is put forward in a way that is constructive for Shane Dawson. And it does highlight some of the issues, like I've said. Namely, just how heavily the emphasis is on the whole horror element. <laughs> and how shocked... Everything seems to make Shane Dawson. I mean, I must admit, when I was watching it, the amount of time Shane said, that just gave me chills, was like, okay, I get it. But did it though? Like, could it really that, you know, do you really get chills that often? If you do, fair enough. Shane, I love you, right? I'm just saying you get the chills a little bit too much. But Shane Dawson himself has addressed this on Twitter and has said he's going to tone it all down because he now understands that maybe because it's mental health ultimately and mental health is a very difficult and sensitive subject to talk about, maybe over-dramatising it it is a bit of a misstep, so it's going to be interesting to see how he how he presents it and how he edits this going forward. I think the the biggest point that Logan makes, and again, I can't quite fathom the fact that I agree with him. He makes the point that that he's definitely blurring the lines between sociopath and psychopath and this is extremely important and he also makes the argument that there is a spectrum there has to be a sociopathic and a psychopathic spectrum there has to be right because you can't just be like he is a black and white fucking sociopath it just doesn't like so he highlights the fact that there are more sociopathic tendencies which then makes me think more back to am I a sociopath? And if there's actually more sociopathic, maybe I'm just a mild sociopath. Do you know what I mean? Maybe like everyone is a mild sociopath. And then he highlights certain things that I didn't even notice the first time that I was viewing. Namely, that in the interview with the psychoanalytic woman that I've never even heard of before, they talk about sociopaths 
and they when they give examples and when Shane gives examples every now and then they'll actually be talking about psychopaths. I heard Steve Jobs was I, a sociopath. I didn't hear about that. I heard Steve Jobs was a sociopath. You have to think says with Steve Jobs a psychopath. What I'm saying is Possibly. you're confusing people. If you're going to do that you really need to be careful because sociopath, like I've said, and psychopath are entirely different. I'll get the definitions for you now. A sociopath is a person with a personality disorder manifesting itself in extreme antisocial attitudes and behavior. Define a psychopath. It's a person suffering from chronic mental disorder with abnormal or violent social behavior. Not antisocial, yeah? Not you know, can't really feel emotions and things, it's more driven towards violence. And that is a very, very, very important fundamental difference there. We are talking about someone that may manipulate people for their own gain, yeah, may not feel towards others, right? But then we also talk about a psychopath that may have those kind of characteristics, but also enjoys hurting people, wants to hurt people, have a need for hurting people. That is a psychopath, not a sociopath. So when you were talking about these things, it is very, very important that there is that, that clear line, which, I, you know, like I say, Shane Dawson has accepted that, and that is what he's going to do moving forward. But please don't let me detract from this series. The series is magnificent. The quality is magnificent. The topic is very fucking important, but it's so important that it does need to be tread very carefully. And I know he is putting weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks of editing and, and, and time into this project. It's not like it's just pissing it out, you know, in one day like this video is instead he is really putting his heart and soul into this and you get it's coming across he's, that's why he's fucking rocketing like he is and that's why his, his views are like 10 15 20 30 million but i digress logan paul also <laughs> this actually made me laugh and it's actually quite true the B-roll thing. And then the B-roll! The B-roll! Where did you find <laughs> this B-roll? <laughs> Stock footage. That is not Getty. Images. I would love to see your search history. Human eats human out of hand. Why are you doing cannibalism? Who's a sociopath, man? <laughs> this series is making me ask so many questions. Some of the footage, the stock footage that he uses, is rather extreme. Especially the example that Logan gives with like the person eating the person in his hand. It is just like holy shit. Like Shane clearly has a talent for horror editing. You can see that in his old conspiracy videos and things like that. It's magnificent. But so, <laughs> hmm, when you're talking about people being sociopaths and psychopaths and all that sort of stuff, when you talk about real people, you do need to be careful and, and not put out the wrong message, which I kind of think, see, the more I talk about this, the more I think about the things that Logan has said and that other people have said, I watch H3's podcast stuff, the more I think about what other people have said, because I'm quite a, a, you know, I'm not a narrow-minded person, I'm quite an open person, I'll happily take in information, and, and you know, I can be swayed, you know, I'm not like set in my ways, the more I think about it, the more I do kind of think, Shane's maybe not been as careful as he perhaps should have been, and I'm, I'm just, that's just like con be, me trying to be constructive, and I know that he's taken, like say, Twitter, he's put it all over there, he's taken it on board, and I'm really looking forward to the next six episodes, because I know that they've changed and they've shifted, and, and I think that he, he is on track for a masterpiece here. <laughs> the best gag in this video, though, which did maybe piss myself, because it is true, is where his mate was just like, Yo, Logan, I left your car keys on the counter. <laughs> That's like, come on now, you know what I'm saying? Not everything is that scary, Shane! Shane, mate, is a bit much like how some things are so minor and yet your reaction to them is literally like someone just took a shotgun to a puppy in the middle of the street. You know what I'm just, it's just like, whoa. <laughs> That's it, I mean, I just thought, do you know what? Considering all the stigma surrounding around Logan, like, I'm not excusing what he did in January, he's a fucking moron for what he did in January, and he is still paying the price to this day, which so he should, but this video was good. It was decent content, and I thought it was nicely put, and I thought, you know, fair play. You know, if you're gonna hate on the guy, yeah, if you're gonna fucking say where he's going wrong, at least have the decency to say, if he does something right, or if he's, you know, which I think he has. But yeah, I just thought, you know what, he's actually made me laugh, and it's made me think. And I think that's really important, as influencers, I think it's really important to make people think, yeah? To think of the other side of the argument, because there is always two sides to an argument, 
And it's always good to be open-minded, guys. Don't be narrow-minded and just like think this is the one way nothing else applies. It's just not that way. You know, be open-minded. I'm going to shut the fuck up because this is going no. I'm just saying as my community, please be open-minded. All right? Sick. Listen, that's it. I just wanted to weigh in because I thought, do you know what? He's changed my mind on something that I absolutely love and think is awesome and it's made me think of things in a different light. I still think it's fantastic and I'm really looking forward to tonight's episode as I'm sure everyone else is. But yeah, that's, that's it. That's all I wanted to say. I just wanted to say like, yeah, really, you know? Thanks so much, guys. Uh, listen, I'm on all the social media, obviously. It's Doody Rhino on Twitter and Instagram. It's Geordie Hopes, J-O-R-D-Y-H-O-P-E-S on Snapchat. You've also got merch and all that good stuff. The channel's going places. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Like, share, and subscribe. All the links are down below. I love you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye for now.